So welcome back to Poor Boy Disc Golf, and today we're gonna do uh, we're gonna go out here and we're gonna throw and do a review on uh, the West Side Disc Catapult and the Latitude 64 Fuse. Now uh, we're gonna be out here throwing them. I, I know the Catapult's a little bit out of my speed range, but you know I, I'm gonna show people what it will do for a, a noodle arm like me. Uh, the catapult sits in at a speed of 14, glide of 4, turn of negative 0.5, and a fade of 3. It's in the uh, Moonshine Plastic. It is sitting at 171 grams. So uh, it should fly straight and then dump to the left. You know, the only reason I use uh, like higher speeds like this is to get around a tree right off the, the get-go. Like, uh, like if it's a Mondo... It has to be around a tree and kind of like a like a double mondo uh or double mando I should say. Uh you know, I'll throw something like this to get it around that first one. Now the uh, other disc is a uh, Latitude 64 fuse. Now this is in their uh, gold line. It is a stable mid-range. And I'll put the uh, flight numbers down below since this one doesn't have it I don't have it available. But it is sitting at 176 grams. So uh I'm gonna go out here and throw these. It looks like we got a uh we got a we're gonna be thrown into a headwind. Uh looks like it's gonna be a headwind right to left a little bit. So uh we'll go out here and we'll throw them and see how good they do. Well, I uh, just got through throwing. Uh, the first two throws you're going to see is, uh, that you, well, that you did see, was downhill with the headwind. Now, the headwind was going right to left. It's probably blowing, I'd say, 10 to 15, maybe 20 miles an hour at some point. And then the last two throws are uphill with a tailwind. And to be honest with you, you know, uh, Catapult did a lot better than I thought. I was getting all of 200 feet on all the drives. Uh, my practice throw kind of went to the right, and it went way out there to the right. If it, had, if it had been a straight shot, it'd have been probably about 250. Even I got a hold of it the first, the practice one, but kind of dialed it back just to keep my accuracy. Uh, did did a lot better than what I thought it was going to do. Uh, it's definitely one that's gonna I might have to keep you know just in case I ever get up there where I can throw it better I'll keep uh, throwing it and see see how it works and uh, in the headwind it went straight and it just just did a really it didn't just go straight to the left it would go you know as you've seen it would kind of just drift down and then it would hit uh, which is kind of weird. I've never had one really do that, but I guess it's because of the, the headwind. Now, the tailwind made it go straighter, uh, which normally makes it more stable anyways. So, uh, it, it's, it's a pretty good little disc. So, uh, yeah, you're looking for a Speed 14 driver, get you a catapult from Westside Disc. Make sure you get the moonshine plastic. This stuff's awesome. 
this is hard ground I'm throwing in, and it's it's hitting it like it's hitting it pretty good because you know it's going way up there in the air, and when it comes down, it's coming down with some force, and there's no chunks on that, a little bit of scrape, but nothing nothing that's really noticeable. Now it's a good little little disc, good plastic. Now the fuse, uh, I put some power behind it. Each, on each throw, I put a little bit of power. Uh, throwing into a headwind, it wanted to go to the right. It would just turn over and it would just keep going. Uh, basically turned into a roller, but it rolled the wrong way. Uh, now the tailwind, it flew straight. Straight and it finished to the right. So I kind of like that. Uh, I'm going to try to get it out more and more and try to get more calmer conditions. See how it handles in the woods. See if I, because I was doing it with power grip. So I'm going to see what I can do with the, with my fan grip. You know, kind of get it out there a little bit. Uh, get it more stable. Try it on some, when it ain't as windy as it is today, I'll try to get out there and put it on some real big hyzer. Maybe, maybe see if I can throw a roller and hyzer with it. and Just try to test it out. You know, this is probably going to go in the bag. Because uh, it is kind of, I throw it as an unstable when I throw it as hard. And it'll just it'll just go to the right, and I kind of need something like that in my bag right now. Everything I got's overstable, so yeah. If you're looking for a mid range, get you a fuse from uh, Latitude 64. Get it in the gold line. This plastic is awesome. It feels good. It ain't really slick like uh, some of the other plastic. It's kind of got a, a grip to it, you know. And it held up real good about hitting the rocks and stuff and rolling. You know, it, it, it took a beating just like the catapult and it's it's great. So yeah. Poor boy recommends these these two discs, the fuse and the catapult. But yeah. Hope y'all like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I got a couple of uh disc reviews coming up. I've got uh I've got a uh West Side Disc a seven speed driver, and I've got a new, brand new Latitude 64 uh, distance driver. It's in their easy to use lightweight line. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be something uh, pretty cool, but I'm going to try to get it out, try to test them out whenever it ain't as windy or as cold as it is today. So this is Poor Boy reminding you play the sport and grow the sport that is disc golf. Thanks for watching.